Hey guys, Deva here. The first title update launched and holy moly, not only brought new monsters, but as well opened a huge variety of making endgame builds. This is mostly thanks to now craftable decos such as weakness exploit and crit boost which were really hard to fit in on builds before. Since I have very limited time in real life and also takes me a while to farm materials, I'll make from now on shorted videos and focus only on one or two builds on each. Uh, this also helps me to not get too demotivated when working too long on a single video. So yeah, if you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified whenever I'm posting new build videos. With that said, let's straight get into the new best Savage Axe Charge Flip build. So obviously any older meta build is gonna be outdated by quite a bit. Uh, it's of course the Narga build again, as you can see it's pure madness. 100% crit chance, so every single hit will deal 45% more damage. With crit boost level 3 and attack boost level 7 on top just gives you insane damage. Pretty much the highest CFR possible, with a few tweaks. Um, we have as well Rapid Morph 3 in the build, which will allow you to go much faster into Savage Axe mode and morphing uh, attacks such as uh, skill ch shield charging, sorry, but also it's going to make your charge play gameplay generally faster and it's quite noticeable, you, you will notice the difference of playing with Rapid Mort 3 and without it. Having 2 or 1 level is also fine, it still makes a difference, so use whatever you have available. If you remember Teostra's armor set bonus from Monster Hunter World, yes, it's back, except this time it's a level 3 skill and can be crafted as a deco. I'm using only level 2 here since it's already a decent boost to sharpness and we also have speed sharpening level 3 so it's enough in my opinion but feel free to drop, drop an attack jewel for another master's touch if you really want that 80% uh, sharpness reduction. Another option for this is either protective polish or razor sharp so use whatever fits you the most. You can even use a skill load shells in case you wanna charge up files quicker, but you really don't need that on a pure Savage Axe build. But in case you want a hybrid build, just swap out the Rattalos arm for the Renoplos and exchange the 3 attack for 3 artillery, which is totally worth it since you plan to use a CDs and therefore half of your damage will be file related. So you basically drop 5% uh, attack for 30% more file damage. On the last level 1 free slot I threw in a flintry deco because it's a massive in multiplayer and super cheap. The charm I'm using uh, is a really good one even though not the god charm. 3 rapid morph and 2 big slots. Reload speed is quite useless and got a bit unlucky there but imagine if that had 2 weakness exploit instead which would make it the god charm. But hey we can all dream right? Maybe someday. Uh, as you know, there is billions of possibilities on charms, which makes build crafting uh, a bit tougher in Rise because it's not like Ward, where you had a fixed set of decorations like 500 or 1000, and you could farm them. Like you could have a goal in front of you. Instead, this is like super RNG in the billions of decimals. So builds vary a lot. For example, you most likely will not have the exact same charm, but instead maybe a good weakness exploit 2 charm or 3 attack, whatever. I'm trying to say that you may need to play around a bit with the decos or drop a few levels of attack, it's really not a big deal to lose 5% damage. The only new armor piece I'm using here is the Kaiza from Teostra and it gives 3 crit eye which is overkill, since we needed only 2 to reach 100% crit chance and has also one crit boost, so it's pretty much the best in slot uh, for this charm I have. The decos I'm using in this set are 1 attack, 2 crit boost, 3 weakness exploit, 3 speed sharpening, 2 master touch and 1 flinch tree. It will take you quite a bit of time to farm those, it took me like 3 hours but I had a full squad. And I killed like 10 Theosaurus and about 20 Apex quests to get the last right jewels. Those are the, the yellow jewels which you will need to craft the deco. And you need quite a lot of them because you need like 5 for 1. But those stay permanently so no rush. Once you have the important decos like crit boost and weakness exploit, you can make most of the builds on any weapon class. That was pretty much it. Like I said, stay tuned. I'm trying to get back on track with content and expect more charge play builds such as elemental builds or new meta SAD Unga Bunga and stuff like that. But I'm having, like I said, really limited time in real life because of uh, my full-time job. 
and so yeah i don't know how much i can keep up with it but i'm trying to my best again hope you all enjoyed the video and if so be sure to leave a like and comment down below guys what you want to see next from me with that said i wish you all a nice day and happy hunting